Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss string formatting in Python. Before starts today's session, let us try to recall what have we discussed in our last lecture. Basic syntax of print function about end attribute and a separate attribute. How to use escape sequences slash n and slash t with print function. Repetition operator and joining operator. How to print variable value along with a string. After watching this video, you will get the knowledge about these points. What is the use of string formatting? How to create spaces with help of format specifiers? Can we use percentage yes in place of percentage C? How to set precision with help of percentage F? Let us try to understand first what is string formatting. String formatting is a process of inserting a variable value in a predefined text. As per our requirements, the output displayed by the print function can be formatted. With help of this string formatting, we can set the alignment also. If you want to print a text with the left alignment or right alignment, we can set that. We can also set the precision values when you are working with the floating values. Types of the string formatting. The popular methods are first one formatting with percent operator, string formatting with string dot format method. Third method is with string literals or simply we may use the word f strings. In this video, we covered the first method string formatting with percentage operator and the remaining two methods will be covered in the next video. Then how to implement formatting with percent operator. In this method, we place a format specifier in the predefined text where the variable value is to be displayed. Suppose if you want to print a single variable value we need to use single format specifier in the predefined text. If you want to print multiple variable values, you need to use multiple format specifiers in the predefined text. With help of the example, that will be clear. This method is the oldest one. Like the other programming languages, Python also support this format specifier method. This method is similar to the printf function in the C language. In the C language, if you want to print the variable values, we use printf as an output function and in that we use format specifiers to print the values. So in the Python also we can use same format specifiers. It supports different types of the format specifiers for different data types. We have several data types, we covered that already. For each and every data type, Python supports different format specifiers. Then let us see the syntax first, how to implement this. Within the print, within the double quotes, we need to write the string or formatted string. After that, start with percent operator, then write the variable name. If you want to print a single variable value, you can follow this method. Otherwise, if you want to print multiple variable values, you need to use parentheses here and the multiple variables separated with comma. The different type of the format specifiers for the different data types are if you want to print integer values, we use percent %i or percent %d format specifier. To print float values, we use percent %f. To print the character values, we use percent %c. Coming to the float character and a string, first character we use as a format specifier. 
for the integer also we use i or percentage d also valid now let us execute some programs then the topic will be clear to you so here we are using vs code already we covered a video how to install vs code how to execute python program using vs code the link is given in the description box you can check it out in this program i want to print one integer variable value so i created a variable and stored the value so in the last video we covered one method how to print a variable value this is the general method to print the variable value along with the string now coming to the eighth statement i want to print a variable value with help of the format specifiers so observe here what i want to print is number value is where you want to print that value in that place you need to write format specifier and number variable is a integer type because you are storing integer value to print the integer values we need to use percentage d format specifier we discussed just now so num values is in place of the percentage d what is the variable we have written here the value of that variable will be printed in place of the percentage d see now number value is 10 this is the output of this fifth statement the general method what we discussed in the last video and uh, number value is 10 this is the output with help of the format specifier method number value is 10 in this example i want to print one integer value one float value see i declared two variables and stored integer value in one variable float value into second variable so in the general method also we can do this requirement so in the general method if you observe what is the normal text you want to print we should write within the double quote or single quotes and variable or should be written without any double quote or single quote string constant and variables are separated with comma this is the rule for the general method okay but the problem is every time you need to start the double quotes and end the double quotes then when you want to print a variable value you need to write that variable and again comma again start the double quotes for this string so like that how many variable values you want to print that many times you can start the double quotes you can end the double quotes but coming to the formatted string method with help of the format specifiers it is easy compared to the general method see now within the double quotes number 1 value is percentage d and number 2 value is percentage f that's it single time open the double quote and close the double quotes after the double quotes observe carefully we should not write the comma in the general method we should write the comma here but here we should not write comma after the double quotes you must write percent and here i want to print multiple variable values in such cases we need to write parenthesis within the parenthesis we need to write the variable separated by comma one more important point is the sequence is also very important so what is the first format specifier we have written in the string in that place the first variable value will be printed where you have the second format specifier in that place the second variable value is printed suppose if you write number 2 comma number 1 in place of percentage d number 2 value will be printed in place of percentage of number 1 value printed so the sequence is very important and next important point is the format specifiers also very important so number 1 is a integer type if you want to print that variable value we must write percentage d first and number 2 is a float type for that we need to write percentage f if you change the format specifiers also we will get type mismatch error these two are very important points now execute this see number 1 value is 10 and number 2 value is 20.56 this is by using the general method sixth statement output and coming to the ninth statement output with help of the format specifiers number 1 value is 10 and number 2 value is 20.56 by default the zeros will be added because that is the nature of the float by default that maintains six digits after the decimal point in the third example i want to print a name see i created a variable 
I stored some name Tej. I want to print that. As we discussed already, we must use percentage yes format specifier to print string values. Execute it. So this first high Tej is the output for the sixth statement. String constant separated with comma and variable. And the ninth statement within the double quotes high percentage yes. In place of the percentage yes. The name variable value will be displayed. The name variable value is what? Tej. So, high Tej is the output for the ninth statement. We can print the values with alignment also with the help of the format specifiers. Say this example, name Tej. So, I created a variable. I am assigning a name. I want to print this name with the right alignment. And I want to create 10 spaces. See the output of this statement. First, a 10 spaces are created. One cell represent one space. 10 spaces are created because we use 10 s here. Percent 10 s. And by default, the alignment is right alignment. So, with right alignment, the name will be displayed. Suppose if you want to print the name with the left alignment, we must write the code like negative values. Percent minus 10 s. In this case, 10 spaces are created, but the value will be displayed with the left alignment. See this code, same code we discussed just now. Created variable, storing value, printing the value as it is without any alignment. Created 10 spaces and printing the values. So, by default that is right alignment. And if you want to print with left alignment, you can with the help of the negative sign. Run it. Observe the output, Tej, this is the output of the sixth statement, by default that is left alignment. See the ninth statement, 10 spaces are created and the value is displayed with right alignment. Okay, So, that is the reason these spaces are created. Next, the output of the twelfth statement is this one, 10 spaces are created and the value is displayed with left alignment. Now, see this example 5. Now, I want to print a single character from a given string. As we discussed, we use percentage %c format specifier to display a single character. So, I created a variable stored a name. Now, I want to print a first character in a given string. So, I want to print the string like first character in your name is percentage %c. In place of the percentage %c, what you want to display? That we need to write after the quotations percent name 0. So, what is the character located at 0th index that will be printed. So, we cover the string concept how to access the elements, how to store the elements, what is slice operation all those are covered already in the data types concept. So, this returns first character that is t. Now, coming to the eighth statement suppose if you want to print multiple characters. Your name starts with percentage %c and ends with percentage %c within the quotation and start percent operator within the parenthesis. What I want to print? Name at the 0th location character within the name second index character that is last character. The name is Tej. The indices values are 0, 1, 2 only. So, first character index is 0, last character index is 2. So, those will be printed. Suppose if you want to implement slice operator, you can do that also. First two characters are percentage yes. So, observe here I am using slice operator. So, the slice operator is used to print the characters from 0 and ends with 1, not 2. We discussed already this because 2 is excluded. So, 0 and 1 index characters only will be printed. And here we are printing two characters. So, the trait as a string. That is the reason I am using percentage yes, not percentage %c. Run it. See the output. First character in your name is t. So, this is the output of this fifth statement. Your name starts with t and ends with j. This is the output of this eighth statement. First two characters are te. This is the output of this ninth statement. We covered one more point in our strings video. Actually, there is no character data type in python. A single character is also treated as 
string type i will show you that see when we write name at the index 0 that is a single character now i want to print the data type of that single character see class string type this is the output of the sixth statement i make all the print statements are comment lines this is only will be executed print type of name at index 0 that is a single character but that single character also treated as string type this is the reason in place of the percentage c if you use percentage s yes also you will get the same output when working with float values we can set number of the fractional values to be displayed nothing but we can set the precision while printing see the example number assignment some float value so when we write like this number value is percent 9.3f percent num so in place of this format specifier this variable value will be displayed we know that that is a general thing but coming to the 9.3f nine spaces are created first in that after the decimal point only three digits will be displayed as an output see this example so stored some float value i want to print only three digits after the decimal point i want to create nine spaces and within the nine spaces i want to print only three digits after the decimal point execute it the value of number is 12.342378 this is the output of this fourth statement next one is the value of number with three fractional values is 12.342 this is the output of the sixth statement see we have written 0.3f that is the reason we are getting only three digits after the decimal point the value of number is after that spaces are created observe and with right alignment the value is printed with three digits because we created nine spaces and within that the value is displayed with right alignment with three digits after the decimal point see this seventh example now i want to print employee data using the multiple specifiers name and some name age and salary now i want to print the complete information about this employee so see the single print statement how we are framing this welcome percentage yes A name will be displayed here because percentage yes is used to print string values comma your age is percentage d so age will be displayed and your salary is percentage f so we use three different type of the format specifiers here in the same sequence you need to write those variable names execute it now see the output welcome tech your age is 20 and your salary is 5.6 check your knowledge what you learned from this video what is the use of string formatting how to create spaces with the help of format specifiers can we use percentage s yes in place of percentage c how to set precision with the help of the percentage f try to answer all these questions if you are not able to answer these questions try to watch the video once again if this video is useful to you do subscribe the channel watch the videos and share with your friends thank you